A man who wouldn't hand over his car keys says that he was pistol whipped in a Mount Healthy apartment complex this morning. That complex is a real focus point for police who say the violence just hasn't stopped despite their efforts. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller takes a look at what's being done and what police say needs to happen now. In August, Mount Healthy Police set a curfew for the teens that live in Clovernook Apartments. Recently, that curfew was extended and set for 9 p.m. instead of 10. But despite the curfew, violence is still happening, and community leaders say they need time and money. He put a gun to your head? Put a gun to my throat, gun to my head, and started beating me in the head with it after I wouldn't give him the keys to my car. Early Tuesday morning, a man in Mount Healthy reported he'd been attacked by a 14-year-old he says trying to steal his car. I'm shaking pretty bad and my head is bleeding. The teen was eventually arrested. Mount Healthy Police say the teen was from the North College Hill area and had outstanding warrants for assault. We have people from all over the place uh, running around and so it's it's no longer a local issue. Mount Healthy Police Chief Vince Demasi says the rise in violent crimes are tarnishing his community, specifically the Clovernook apartment complex. Most of the people that I've dealt with over there are, are good people. They're hardworking. And you should be able to let your kids go outside and play without worrying about, you know, somebody being shot or somebody being run over or stabbed or, or whatever else that we've, we've been dealing with up there. It's why his department enacted a curfew to focus on bringing down the crime in that area. But Chief Demasi says his small department is spread thin. Mitch Morris of the Cincinnati Works Phoenix program has gotten involved. His team has started outreach in the area and will host a job fair Thursday. A lot of them are just misguided and just making a lot of bad choices. So we have to stay involved. Morris is often joined by Pastor Ennis Tate, who says it's not surprising that the crime hasn't gone down just yet because it's a process, he says, needs the support of an entire community. All of those individuals who are working together with young people should have a time where they sit and talk about different strategies. There's so much amazing work going on in Cincinnati on the ground. It's never highlighted because it's not sexy. And because of that, they don't receive the funding that's needed to really continue to do the work. So they keep on traversing, hoping to reach just one teen at a time. In Mount Healthy, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.